Okay, uh, this is a short demo to show how to how to use the analysis tool pack in Microsoft Excel to perform regression analysis. Uh, the purpose of uh, using this this tool is to obtain um, uh, more information out of your regression data, out of your correlation data, uh, analytical data, uh, from a more more scientific from from a more technical uh, angle. Uh, t typically, typically, a scientist uh, is, is able to quickly in Excel perform a correlation evaluation of your uh, data by uh, doing a, a, a plot of the data, doing a plot of the of the data, and to being able to see what's the trend, what's the correlation, and quickly uh, add the trend line, and you can see was the uh, linear model or the, or the equation of that model. You can actually select uh, multiple the multiple models, but now let's fix in the linear model, um, um, which is, a, uh, th in this case, is, is showing you what's the correlation between these, uh, the concentration of this compound, the different concentrations of this compound, and the, um, the response of the detector. Uh, the, the the use uh, of this uh, is very limited. It will just basically give you the coefficient of determination r squared, which in this case is 0.999, showing you a good correlation between the concentration and the response. And you have also a, a simple uh, linear model where you can see the intercept and you have your the slope of your uh, model, mathematical model. Um, now this this is very limited. This is, uh, you cannot obtain any additional information beyond this uh, linear model and coefficient of determination, and have a visual inspection of your uh, uh, co correlation. Now uh, the 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 purpose of this uh, of using the regression uh, tool in, in Excel uh, basically. Is uh, to obtain is for obtaining the the standard error of the response of your particular analytical technique. Um, the, the 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 idea uh, uh, is to obtain that uh, uh, standard deviation of the response uh, and use that for estimation of the LOD and the LOQ, the limit of quantitation and limit of detection. Uh, the ICH guidelines suggest that the LOD LOQ could be determined. Uh, by different ways. Uh, one of the ways is by uh, using the uh, the residual standard deviation of a regression line or the standard deviation of the y-intercept of the regression lines can be used as a standard deviation. Basically, uh, this standard deviation is used in this equation. Uh, for example, for a quantitation limit, uh, 10 times the, the standard deviation of the response divided by the slope will give you the estimated uh, LOQ. Now, how to obtain that standard deviation of the response? As ag again, as I said before, uh, ICH guidelines suggest that the standard deviation of the y-intercept uh, of the regression line could be used as a standard deviation. So going back to Excel, um, where, where, how we can get that particular standard deviation of the response or, or, the, or the, the standard deviation of the y-intercept? We, to do that, we need to uh, use the data analysis uh, option in, in Excel. That particular tool is, is not normally there. It's not normally there. So you have to first go to File, Options, Add-ins, and be sure that you have the analysis tool pack active uh, and ready for use. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat the analysis, the data analysis uh, tool is not there in Excel typically is not there. So you have to um, go to File, Options, Add-ins, and Activate Analysis Tool Pack. This is uh, specifically in Excel 2010. In different versions of Excel, that, that could be slightly di slightly different. Um, uh, but I guess that by going to the to the help and following instructions, you should be able to activate the analysis tool, the data analysis tool pack. Uh, okay, now going to the data analysis tool pack you're gonna have this window with uh, all these nice uh, uh, more sophisticated statistical programs that will allow you a quick interpretation a quick analysis of your statistical uh, data again uh, so let's go right away to regression analysis and then you're gonna have this window 
where you have basically to introduce the Y range, which in this case is the response. Okay, and you're gonna introduce the X range, which in this case is the concentration of your compound. You select and define what's the confidence level that you want to evaluate if in, your, uh, in your regression analysis. Re you, you can select the residuals, the residuals uh, plots, the line feed plots, and, uh, and um, you select where you want that data insert in your Excel page. Uh, in this case, uh, we just select this cell, then press OK, and boom, the, the, the program will automatically do the calculations for you, and you will have uh, a, a nice summary of all the statistical attributes of the uh, regression analysis that could be used for different purposes, for different uh, uh, um, uh, scientific purposes, again. Uh, now, in, in this case, I'm, I'm more focused on the, the, the fact that this summary provides us with the standard error of the intercept and the standard error of the slope of the linear model. Um, that's what we are looking for uh, in order to be able to determine the LOD and LOQ using the linearity data as per ICH guideline suggestion. So, um, going back to Excel. Uh, let's say if you're going to calculate the LOQ, then would be 10 times the standard error of your y-intercept divided by the slope of the linear model. Uh, that gives us uh, about 2 nanograms per milliliter based on this data. Uh, again, this is just an example of how to use the tool. That doesn't mean that this data is actually good. For this purpose, it's just for the just to demonstrate how the tool is is, is used. Uh, as you can see, the um, the LOQ is estimated at about two nanograms, and LOD uh, would be 3.3 times the standard error again divided by the slope of the line again, and that gives us about 0.7 or one nanogram, I would say. Uh, um, those are the levels or concentration of the compound where the quantitation would be possible with uh, an, an acceptable accuracy and, and precision. And, uh, and the LOD apparently is predicted to be at about 1 or 0 0.7 uh, uh, nanograms per milliliter. And these numbers could be different depending on the, of the data. Uh, and of course, one way to confirm that is by preparing these solutions and going back and analyzing them and checking if the if the again the, if the prediction is is accurate. And in many cases, this LOD LOQ match the LOD LOQ uh, calculated by signal to noise, which is a very widely used uh, 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 way to calculate the LOD LOQ. Um, uh, so. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically how, how it works. You you have the analysis, the data analysis tool, so so you will be able to uh, uh, do a regression, complete regression analysis of your uh, statistic of your analytical data, and you will be able to find what's the standard error of your of your intercept, y intercept. Uh, the y intercept would be the response where your compound is at zero concentration or close to zero. Uh, that would be equivalent to what's the dispersion, what's the variability of the of your response, uh, of your analytical analytical tool. Um, so this is it. This is uh, the standard error of your y-intercept, the slope, and that's the the estimated uh, numbers. Uh, so that would be basically what you need in order to use uh, the the standard deviation of the y-intercept as per ICH uh, uh, re recommendation. So, <clears throat> so again, in order to have the data analysis option, you just have to go to File, Options, Add-ins, and be sure that you have Analysis Toolpack activated. Um, okay, so I hope that this uh, helps and uh, uh, in order to, to understand how basically Excel could be used to quickly uh, obtain the standard error uh, of the intercept uh, using linearity data uh, which again could be could be nicely used uh, during a validation of a, 
and method development of analytical procedures. Okay, bye.